a very warm greetings to all of you our project is movie recommendation system based on machine learning we are presenting you this project as a group which includes varshita shrilekha and soumya now let me tell you what actually these recommendation systems are one of the most amazing part about this recommendation systems is we summon to its suggestions or advices every other day without even realizing that confused let me tell you some examples like facebook youtube linkedin are among the most used websites on internet today so let us see how they use recommendation systems and i know you will be amazed okay F facebook we see some suggestions keep coming to us like to make more friends using people you may know section right similarly linkedin suggests you to uh, connect with people you may know and youtube suggests you some relevant videos based on your previous browsing history so all of these are recommendation systems in action while most of the people are aware of these features but only few know that the algorithms used behind these features are actually recommendation systems so they recommend uh, you the personalized content on the basis of uh, users past or current preferences and this is because to improve the users experience so broadly these recommendation systems are classified into three types content based recommendation systems collaborative filtering based and hybrid so in short the recommendation systems filters the information to improve the quality of search results by showing the items which are relevant to the past or current preferences of the user so which means this recommendation systems are making the users work easy okay what is the motivation or why did we choose this project as you all know netflix spotify youtube instagram etc are seeing tremendous growth and success these days so we feel these recommendation systems would have a significant influence in making them such successful and profitable for instance uh, let us consider that you are a binge watcher of series or movies so randomly one day you just opened uh, netflix or amazon prime just like that uh, and you found that you are interested movies or series of the genres that you have watched are showing up then it's obvious that you tend to open or watch that series or movie right so in such way it increases the streaming time of that app so it increases its profits and not only about this profits but also um, to display the people trending information or stuff uh, that they could enjoy in order to keep them interested in the apps so these are the reasons that why we choose this project significance of ml the machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence here artificial intelligence is a technology that enables a machine to imitate human behavior and machine learning is a subset of ai which allows a machine to automatically learn from the past data and give some predicted output and the main goal of this ai is to make a smart computer system like humans to solve some complex problems and here are some of the applications of machine learning are internet search engines there are some internet search engines like bing dr go and google etc and here bing is a default search engine in the microsoft's web browser and it was launched in the 2009 and coming to dr go it is a popular search engine known for protecting the privacy of the users and has we know google is undoubtedly the most popular search engine and next one is the email filters to sort out spam here ml detects whether the given email is a spam or not 
and next banking software to detect unusual transactions and lots of apps on our phone such as speaker recognition photo detection etc are some of the applications of the ml as i said in the beginning there are three types of recommendation systems one is content based filtering second is collaborative filtering and the final one is hybrid filtering so what is this content based filtering so this is very simple so this content based filtering recommendation system it recommends the user the similar content based on the past watched history so what i mean by similar content here is uh, it can be any video or any web page or it can be any product but here uh, since we are concentrating on movies as our project is movie recommendation system let us consider movies okay let me tell you an example um let us take this girl um let us think that this girl has watched many movies of adventurous genre so the next day uh, it can be any app so the next day what happens the app in which she has watched it keeps showing her the similar movies of the same genre uh, same genre in the sense adventurous genre so this way this content based recommendation systems works so next is content based filtering recommendation system so i'll explain you this with an example let us take two persons person 1 and person 2 okay the person 1 has watched uh, let us consider he watched two films of horror genre and similarly the person 2 has also watched the same two movies of same genre okay then the next day let us consider the person 2 has watched one more movie which is not yet watched by the person 1 and that movie it can be of from uh, any genre the third movie that has been watched by person 2 can be from any genre it can be thriller it can be romantic horror any other okay. now what does this collaborative based filtering uh, do here is so based on the previous watched history of those two movies uh, from horror genre it considers person 1 and person 2 as similar thus it recommends the third movie that is watched by person 2 to the person 1 so this is how collaborative based filtering and here in this project the algorithm used is a cosine similarity here cosine similarity is nothing but it is a method or the metric that measures the cosine of the angle between two vectors which are projected in the multi dimensional space here we can say that the smaller the angle between the two vectors the more similar they are to each other for example when the two vectors have the same orientation that is the angle between them is zero and we can say that the cosine similarity is one that is cos zero equals to one so when the angle between them is zero we can say they are very similar to each other when the two vectors are perpendicular to each other that is if they are having a 90 degrees angle between them we can say that cosine similarity is zero so we can conclude that these both vectors are independent of each other in simple words we can say that cosine similarity is the cosine of the angle between two vectors which are projected in the multi dimensional space and here is the formula of the cosine similarity of two vectors which are projected in a two dimensional space and this is the and here this is the formula for multi multi vectors in a multi dimensional space and next is the workflow of our project first of all we need to start with the data after we getting the data we have to pre process the data and this pre processing the data include some of the activities like cleaning the data and identifying and handling the missing values encoding the data and like importing the data set and importing all the crucial libraries etc involves the data pre processing and next is the feature extraction and feature extraction refers to the process of transforming raw data into some numerical features here applying 
machine learning on numerical features is better than applying the machine learning directly to the raw data so after feature extraction next is the user input here we give the input and next using the cosine similarity we find the similarity between the user input movie and each and every movie which is present in the data set and after getting the similarity score between the given user input and the movies in the data set we'll get the list of the movies which are very similar to that yeah. of the user input so next we are going to see the hands on project so first thing uh, we are going to do here is we are importing dependencies dependencies here are functions and libraries so first we import numpy as np okay before continuing with this uh, let me tell you we have to upload uh, msv file which contains a uh, data set related to the movies that is required for our project uh, and uh, these are the screenshots of the code that we have written in the google collaboratory okay let us continue um, here numpy library is imported in its short form as np so this numpy libraries are used in order to create numpy arrays okay next we have to import pandas as pd uh, so this pandas is used here uh, to create pandas data frame okay what is this data frame this data frame is nothing but structured tables so the data which we are having in the form of uh, comma separated values in the msv file so that data with that data it's not easy to analyze and process in csv file so we load that data from csv file to pandas data frame which is more structured so that uh, we can easily analyze and process the data okay next we import diflip so this uh, diflip is used here to find the closest match of the movie that is being given as an input which i which means uh, when the user gives a movie name as input uh, he or she may commit uh, some spelling mistake so there is a there is a scope of it so to avoid spelling mistakes committed by the user we use diflip um, this diflip enables the user to find the closest match of the movie given by uh, him or her from the huge data set that is been imported in spite of having spelling mistakes okay next we import from uh, sklearn.featureextraction.txt we import tfid vectorizer so here this tfid vectorizer is used to convert the text textual data that we have uh, into meaningful numbers which are nothing but feature vectors so the whole data which we have in the data set like genre title name budget everything is converted into the numerical values so next um, we import cosine similarity from sklearn.metrics.pairwise so this cosine similarity uh, is used to find similarity score of all the movies compared with the movie that is being given as input so from those scores the highest two scores i mean the movies which are having highest similarity score which means they are highly similar to the um, user input so those movies are recommended so for this purpose we import cosine similarity here so this next step is to import csv file of the movie data set and printing the first five rows okay let us see them in detail uh, for uh, movies data is equals to pd dot read uh, underscore csv and we have a parenthesis within that we have a path okay what is happening here means uh, the csv data set which we are having uh, is converted into a data frame a structured form and within that parenthesis uh, within that quotes we have to put the path of the uh, csv file that is been imported at the beginning okay okay i hope it is clear so what what we are doing next is we are just trying to print the first five rows of the data data frame 
so the data frame uh, collection is having more than 5000 movies right so here each row um, indicates one movie so we are just we are trying to see the data of first five movies so for that purpose we are printing uh, first five rows of the data frame by using movies underscore data dot head parenthesis okay step three is selecting relevant features so here what we are trying to do is um, we are printing movies underscore data dot shape this gives us uh, this I mean this has given us 4803 comma 24 uh, with 4803 here indicates rows number of rows and 24 indicates number of columns so 4803 uh, number of rows which are nothing but these many movies we are having and 24 columns uh, these columns include genre title of the movie tagline cast etc so such type of uh, columns we are having 24 in the data set that we imported okay next uh, we are trying to select the relevant features for recommendation so here we are having uh, 24 different features right so those 24 different features are not required for our project we are just trying to select 5 different features from 24 features so the next uh, we are doing is we are putting genres keywords tagline cast director all them in a list um, we are selecting only these 5 genres among all 24 genres and we are putting them in um, selected underscore features and next we are just trying to print them okay um, what next we are doing is we are replacing all the null values with a null string okay um, in the data frame which we are having um, sometimes we may have some missing values right so those missing values are need to be replaced with some null string so that's what we are doing in the next step so we are taking a for loop this for loop uh, runs among all five different features uh, that we took genre keywords tagline cast and director so each time when the for loop runs it takes each uh, feature so first when the for loop runs it takes genres and it runs over the column uh, wherever it finds um, a missing value or a null value it replaces that null value with the null string so this way it takes keywords tagline and cast and director so this is how it replaces all the missing values with the null string okay so the next what we are doing is we are just trying to combine all uh, those five different features genre keywords tagline cast director so these um, columns are combined here using this combined underscore features is equals to movies underscore data genres next um, keywords next tagline cast and director so this way all these five different features are combined okay okay next um, what we are doing is we are just trying to print all those combined feature so that that looks this way as you can see so step four is converting textual data into feature vectors so what we are doing is uh, we are initializing vectorizer with tfid vectorizer right uh, which means we are loading uh, tfid vectorizer into vectorizer you can choose any name instead of vectorizer but here we have chosen it so next what we are doing is we are trying to fit and transform all the textual data uh, from the combined features uh, so what does this combined feature consist of it consists of all this 4803 movies with five different f uh, features so from so all that textual data is transformed into numerical values and that is initialized to feature vectors features underscore vectors so this is what we are doing in this step and this has been done uh, with the help of tfid vectorizer which is being loaded into vectorizer okay so next we are just trying to print that uh, feature underscore vectors obviously it consists of all the text uh, all the numerical values i mean feature vectors 
so here you can see all the uh, textual data uh, from the combined features is converted into some meaningful numbers uh, feature vectors okay so let's step 5 is cosine similarity here we get the similarity scores using the cosine similarity here the syntax similarity equals to cosine similarity of feature vectors here we get the similarity score of each and every movie to rest of all the movies like we get the similarity score between each movie to all the rest of the movies which are present in the data set and that is the reason printing the similarity dot shape gives equal rows and equal columns and now after getting the similarity scores of each and individual movie then now step 6 is getting the movie name from the user here we will take the input from the user and next step 7 is finding the close match for the movie name given by the user after taking the input from the user we create a list with all the movies which are given in the data set here taking considering the all the movies in a one list we'll prepare a list like we make a list of all the movie titles which are present in the data set then after finding the list of the movies then we find the close match for the movie name given by the user we compare each and every movie title with the given user input here the syntax find close match equals to diff lib dot get close matches of movie name comma list of all titles collects all the movies which are very similar to that of the user input movie if it is similar to the user input then it is appended to the find close match list for example here the user input is king kong so that king kong movie was compared to all the titles of the list and then we got a list containing king kong for example if we have a movie like if the user input was spider-man so there were the similar names like spider-man 1 2 3 so we get a list containing these three movies in the list here after getting the list of all the similar movies now next we find the only one element which is very similar to that of the user input by choosing the syntax like close match equals to find close match of zero from the above list we consider only the first element which is very similar to that of the user input element now the next step is after getting the element we have to find the index of the movie along with the title so by using the syntax index of the movie equals to movies of data movies data dot title is double equals to close match of index dot values of zero here this syntax gives the index of the above movie which we, which we found very close to that of the user input and now we find the similarity scores of each and individual movie here the syntax similarity score equals to list of enumerator of similarity of index of the movie gives the list which containing the index of the movie and the similarity score between that movie and our close match movie here in the output 0 indicates the index of the movie and then 0 0.0462 so on it indicates the similarity score between the 0 0th index movie and the close match movie and next one is the index of the movie and 0 0.0703 so on is the similarity score between the first index movie and the close match movie and next step 9 sorting the movies based on the similarity score after getting the list of all the similarity score now we have to sort the list according to their similarity score so that we can print the output what we desire here the syntax sorted similar words equals to sorted of similarity score comma key equals to lambda of x is to x of 1 reverse equals to true here printing the sorted similar movies gives all the similar movies and the cosine similarity in a sorted way and now the step 10 is print the names of the similar movies using the for loop we have to print the names of the movies from the previous list what we have got and this is a syntax for printing the names of the movies using for loop 
and the last step here is the list of recommended movies hence we got all the movies according to the cosine similarity now let us see the advantages of using these recommendation systems so easy recommendations make less searches and sometimes end up with good deal right and then the user can also be able to observe the reviews of uh, other customers or other users so that they can make a decision to watch it or if if it is in case of movies then they'll make a decision to watch that movie or not based on the reviews given by the other users uh, who have watched it earlier or if it is a product uh, like product we even we have a product based recommendation systems so if it is in case of project product uh, so by looking um, those reviews given by the um, customers who have uh, purchased those products earlier so the new customer can make a choice whether to buy that product or not based on the reviews so this is one of the benefit by using a recommendation systems and okay which what i mean here is this recommendation systems um, enables the user to watch the reviews of other users in order to make their own decisions own decisions okay uh, the next advantage is it speeds up the uh, right uh, just like what i said now it speeds up the process of decision making and purchase based on the previous statistics okay okay in short um earlier people were the information customers right but now they used to publish information in the form of articles posts blogs etc which leads to information explosion so when huge number of choices are available it becomes difficult for the customer or user to arrive at the most appropriate choice right this is the it becomes the most difficult task for the customers to deal with it so to deal with this task of choosing the correct product uh, that satisfy the customer requ requirements um, this recommendation systems play a crucial role in order to helping them so these are the advantages of uh, recommendation systems not only a movie recommendation systems uh, it can be a product uh, recommendation system article recommendation system or web page recommendation system any other recommendation system so these are the advantages of them not only uh, these advantages it also have some disadvantages too so let us um, overlook at those disadvantages so the first disadvantage is here uh, domain knowledge is required um, like any random person uh, lack of domain knowledge it becomes difficult for them since the feature representation of the, those items are hand engineered so they are made themselves to some extent so this technique requires some domain knowledge and the next disadvantage is uh, this model can only make recommendations is, uh, recommendations based on the existing interests of the users right so the next disadvantage is data sparsity okay data sparsity let me explain you in this way so for recommendation system uh, you want to see which user bo bought which item or which user rated which item right so in practical scenario what happens is users do not rate or buy every item item here in the sense you can take any movie since we are um, discussing about movie recommendation system uh, whenever i utter item consider it as a movie okay but it can be anything item here implies any product or any article it can be anything in general particularly a movie okay so in practical scenario we do not rate or buy every item that we uh, see right large number of users are concentrated on very few items and hence a certain amount of items are untouched by the users okay since uh, we do not have any action of customers on such on some items uh, well we have it on other certain items this emptiness of interaction so the whole emptiness of interaction uh, is called as sparsity problem okay to solve this uh, we have some methods like matrix factorization which helps you to fill that emptiness by prediction 
and so this is called data sparsity we usually see in this uh, type of uh, uh, projects so the next disadvantage is uh, data requirement so lot of data is required here in order to uh, make our uh, machine um, learning model predict accurately so lots of data is required so these are the disadvantages of our project but these few of these can be overcome so to conclude our project uh, a, a movie recommendation system powered by content uh, based filtering um, it performs using the cosine similarity algorithm so it makes better recommendations for users by suggesting them uh, movies that have similar features like average rating genre release year cast budget tagline directors crew and many other things so this is our whole project uh, hope you liked the idea of our project and hope it useful for you thank you for watching